Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the XMatch function. This is a newer function that was released with Office 365 and we'll see how it compares to the old traditional match functions. So let's do that in Excel. So I have a table here and the table is called data and I want to search for the row numbers for various items. So in column G, I just show the row numbers of the data so we can reference those. Now, if we look at the X match versus the match function, you see they both have a lookup value and a lookup array. The match function just has a match type, which is either one for less than, zero for exact, or minus one for greater than where the X match function has a match mode and a search mode. The match mode has four options, an exact, a, an exact or next smaller, an exact or next larger, and a wildcard character match. And it also has a search mode where you can search first to last or last to first. In addition, it has two other search modes, binary searches, and they must be sorted in ascending order or sorted in descending order if you want to use these. Now, here's an explanation of the binary searches. This is something that will rarely be used by most users of Excel. And it's only when you have extremely large data and you need to be more efficient in searching through your data for your matches. So we're not going to really spend any time on that. But I just wanted to make that available for you in case you were curious. So let's look at a couple examples here. So I'm going to search for, in this case, the word Tulsa, and I'm going to search from top down. So my formula is equals X match I5, which is the location of Tulsa, in data location, that's my table and column, and I want an exact match and a number one, which is search first to last and I get the result of three. Row three here, and there's the name Tulsa, or the location Tulsa. Now the zero and the one are in fact default, so I could technically delete those, and I would get the same result, because those are the default options for those two arguments. Here, I want to search from the bottom. I'm looking for Tulsa, but I want to search from the bottom. So my formula is equals X match, I6, data location, an exact match, but I put in a minus one. So it searches from the bottom up, and the result is row 23. If I go to row 23, again, there's the answer Tulsa that I was looking for. Our third example is using a wildcard. So I'm going to look for TUS and a wildcard character. Now I have Tucson and I have Tuscaloosa as potential results for this search. So in this case, I have equals X match I7, which is my TUS with a wildcard, in my data location, and I've chosen option two, which is a wildcard character match, and I get the result of four. Row four gives me Tucson. Now, if I went into here and added the final argument of minus one, which is search last to first, I get 22, and 22 gives me Tuscaloosa because it's searching from the bottom up. Next, I'm going to search for some values. I'm going to look for the value 700, and I want the next smallest, either an exact match or the next smallest. So my formula, X match I8 data inventory, and I choose minus 1, and minus 1 is exact match or next smallest item. I get the response of 9, and if I look in 9, the answer is 627. That's the next smallest value to 700 in our list. If I change, for example, E2 to 699, now my response goes to 1 because that is the next smallest from the number 700. And finally, I want the next largest, so my formula would be X match I9 data inventory 
and a one, one which is exact match or next larger item, and I get the result of 13. And if I look in 13, I have 702, which is the next largest from the number 700. So these are just some examples of how to use the X match function in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.